Hello champions and happy Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about how to represent ratios with tape diagrams. I know you're going to do a great job on this video and so does Mr. Smiles. Let's jump right in. Remember that you are great. Go ahead and write our champions creed at the top of your paper. I'm going to show you how great I am. Today you're going to show how great you are with your work on the video and with your exit ticket. Make sure that's written on your paper now. Let's start with our do now. Look at the picture below. What is the ratio of squares to circles? Well, there are three squares and six circles, so the ratio is three to six. What is the ratio of circles to triangles? Well, there are six circles and nine triangles, so the ratio is six to nine. Now fill in the blank. There are blank triangles for every square. Well, First, what's the ratio of triangles to squares? It's 9 to 3. To find the unit rate, or the rate for every one square, I can simplify. What goes into 9 and 3? Three? 3 goes into both. When I divide 9 and 3 by 3, what's my new simplified ratio? It's 3 triangles to one square. So, what answer goes in the blank? There are three triangles for every square. Now let's do some unit price problems. Michael bought four cans of Coke for $5.64. How much did each can of Coke cost? Well, I can divide $5.64 by 4 to find the price. Remember to bring your decimal straight up. How many times does 4 go into 5? 4 goes into 5 one time. What's 1 times 4? It's 4. When I subtract, I have 1 left over. can bring down my 6. How many times does 4 go into 16? 4 times. What's 4 times 4? It's 16. When I subtract, how many do I have left over? Zero. Bring down my four. How many times does four go into four? One time. One times four is four. When I subtract, what do I have left over? Zero. So how much does each can of Coke cost? Cost one dollar and forty-one cents. At this rate, how much would five cans of Coke cost? Well, I can multiply $1.41 times five to find that price. Go ahead and do that now. At this rate, five cans of Coke would cost $7.05. Let's do another. Elijah bought three cans of Sprite for $3.42. At this rate, how much would five cans of Sprite cost? First, go ahead and find the cost of one can of Sprite by dividing $3.42 by 3. The cost of one can of Sprite would be $1.14. I can multiply $1.14 times 5 to find the cost of five cans. Go ahead and do that now. Five cans of Sprite would cost $5.70. Create a double number line to solve. Alex is training for a triathlon. He swims two miles for every four miles he runs. What is the ratio of miles he swims to miles he runs? It's two to four. Before I make my double number line, can I simplify that ratio? Yes. What goes into both 2 and 4? 2 goes into both. What's my new simplified ratio? It's 1 to 2. For every 1 mile he swims, he runs 2 miles. Let's draw our double number line now. Make sure to label swim and run. Now that I've simplified, what am I going to count by for the miles he swims? I'm going to count by ones. 
What am I going to count by for the miles he runs? I'm going to count by twos. Go ahead and finish filling out that double number line now. Check to see that your double number line looks like mine. Now let's answer some questions. How many miles does Alex run if he swims three miles? He runs six miles if he swims three miles. How many miles does Alex swim if he runs ten miles? He swims five miles if he runs ten miles. How many miles does Alex run if he swims seven miles? He runs 14 miles. Now let's write some fraction, some division problems as fractions. What's 1 divided by 5? It's 1 fifth. What's 1 divided by 3? It's 1 third. What's 1 divided by 6? It's 1 sixth. Now let's dive into today's lesson. Today we're going to learn a new way to represent ratios by using tape diagrams. Let's do an example together. James mixes three parts blue paint with two parts yellow paint to make green paint. So let's draw a tape diagram to represent this. Put a B for blue and a Y for yellow. To draw the tape diagram, I need to draw three boxes for blue and two boxes for yellow. The ratio is 3 to 2. I can repeat that tape diagram to solve problems. If James uses 9 milliliters of blue paint, how much yellow paint does he use? First, draw on your paper your tape diagrams. three parts blue and two parts yellow. If James uses nine milliliters of blue paint, so that means when I add all three of these boxes together, I'm going to get nine. So what number does each box represent? If three represent nine, well, I can split that nine into three groups, and each box is worth three. That means that each box of yellow is also worth three. So when I put that yellow paint together, how much yellow paint did James use? Three plus three is six. So James used six milliliters of yellow paint. Let's do another problem. If James uses 10 milliliters of yellow paint, how much green paint does he make total? Well, let's draw our diagram again. Three boxes for blue, and two boxes for yellow. This time I know that he's using 10 milliliters of yellow. If there are 10 spread across two boxes, what is each box worth? Each box is worth 5. How much green paint does he make total? Well, I've got to add up all of the blue paint and all of the yellow paint. So when I add 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, or 5 times 5, how many milliliters of green paint does he make total? He makes 25 milliliters of green paint. Now let's look at number three. If James makes 50 milliliters of green paint, how much blue and yellow did he use? Let's draw our tape diagrams again. Three boxes for blue and two boxes for yellow. I know that if I add all of that together, I get 50 milliliters. There are five boxes. What number goes in each box? 10 goes in each box. Because 50 divided by 5 is 10. How much blue paint did James use? 
He used 30 milliliters, 3 times 10. How much yellow paint did James use? He used 20 milliliters, 2 times 10. So I can use tape diagrams to help me solve ratio problems, especially when I need to know the total. Let's do another example. A recipe for maroon paint says mix 5 milliliters of red paint with 3 milliliters of blue paint. Draw a tape diagram to represent this relationship. Go ahead and draw a tape diagram now with red paint and blue paint. The ratio is 5 to 3. So red will have 5 boxes and blue will have 3. Suppose you use 10 milliliters of red paint. How much blue paint would you use and how much maroon paint would you make? Well, let's draw our tape diagram with 5 parts red and 3 parts blue. If you used 10 milliliters of red, what does each box represent? Each box represents 2. So, how much blue paint did you use? You used 6 milliliters. 3 times 2 is 6. How much maroon paint would you make total? Well, if you add all those twos together, you would get 16 milliliters. Let's do another example. Suppose you need 80 milliliters of maroon paint. How much red and blue paint would you use? Well, let's start by drawing our tape diagram again with five parts red and three parts blue. I know that in total, I made 80 milliliters of maroon paint. I can divide by the number of boxes to figure out what number goes in each box. What is each box worth? It's worth 10. So how much red paint did I use? I used 50 milliliters or 5 times 10. How much blue paint did I use? I used 30 milliliters, or 3 times 10. Now let's try some practice problems. The ratio of students wearing sneakers to those wearing boots in a class is 5 to 6. If there are 33 students in class, and every student is wearing sneakers or boots, how many students are wearing sneakers and how many are wearing boots? Let's start by drawing our diagram. How many boxes would you draw for sneakers? You would draw five. How many boxes would you draw for boots? You would draw six. I know that there are 33 total students. So what number does each box represent? Well, there are 11 boxes and 33 students. 33 divided by 11 is 3. So how many students are wearing sneakers? 15 students are wearing sneakers. How many students are wearing boots? 18 students are wearing boots. Let's look at another problem. A recipe for chicken marinade says, mix three parts oil with two parts soy sauce and one part orange juice. If you need 42 cups of marinade in all, how much of each ingredient would you use? Let's draw a tape diagram. Three parts oil, two parts soy sauce, and one part orange juice. 
I know there are 42 cups of marinade in all. What does each box represent? Well, I need to divide 42 divided by 6. 7 represents each box. So, how many cups of each ingredient did I use? I used 21 cups of oil, 14 cups of soy sauce, and 7 cups of orange juice. Try the next one. Elena makes fruit punch by mixing 4 parts cranberry juice to 3 parts apple juice to 2 parts grape juice. If one batch of fruit punch includes 30 cups of apple juice, how much fruit punch did Elena make? And how many cups of each ingredient did Elena use? Go ahead and draw your tape diagram with cranberry juice, apple juice, and grape juice. Four parts for cranberry, three parts for apple, and two parts for grape. I know that Elena used 30 cups of apple juice. So what's each box worth? It's worth 10. Now answer the questions. How much fruit punch did Elena make total? And how much cranberry and grape juice did she use? She used 40 cranberry, 20 grape, and 30 apple. She made 90 cups total. Now you try a few. A recipe for orange paint calls for three parts red paint and two parts yellow paint. If James makes 45 cups of orange paint, how much red and yellow did he use? Go ahead and solve that problem now. James used 27 red and 18 yellow. At the kennel, the ratio of cats to dogs is 4 to 5. There are 27 animals in all. How many cats and dogs are at the kennel? Go ahead and solve that problem now. There are 12 cats and 15 dogs. Last month, there were 4 sunny days for every rainy day. If there were 6 rainy days, how many sunny days were there? Go ahead and solve that problem now. There were 24 sunny days. You did a great job on this video. Now go to tinyurl.com practice 926.